Hey YouTube, this is The Art of Prepping. As we know, there's lots of different types of people in this world that believe a lot of different things. And politics is no exception, especially when it comes to preppers. Uh, preppers uh, have the same type of uh, diversity in their ideology. It's not that they all believe in the same religion or in the same uh, you know, political structure. But they typically do have a more God-centered type of approach, typically. They typically are more conservative, and at least in my area, that is much more libertarian. And they typically are looking at mainstream media as the enemy, because they really are. It's, um, it's one of those things that the mainstream media it blends in facts with their own version of reality. And so you never really know what is what. And so people, at least in my area, they typically go to alternative media sources. And luckily in the modern day, getting close to the end of 2016 now, there is a variety of alternative media. And so this is something that I'm so glad that we have these options because the mainstream media is even more and more left-wing. As I mean, it seems like every year, you know, on the off chance that I actually, you know, view that news, which I really avoid it. And uh, once again, when I was watching the presidential debate, uh, it was very clear of the, uh, the bias of the media. And even more so when I was watching the numbers come in uh, for the presidential election. And those polls numbers were coming in. And those people on ABC... And I tell you what, I haven't been on ABC's channel for so long, I forgot how crazy ass these people are. And they were just like, oh yeah, Trump has no way to win, it's totally in the bag for Hillary, and constantly putting him down, like one after another after another, and, and only, only lifting Hillary up. And it's like, what? Is this the news, or is this some type of a commentary, you know? But this is supposed to be the news now. So the news, in the mainstream news at least, uh, is completely biased. And I challenge you to just look at it. If you haven't paid attention, which I don't know how you cannot, but I don't, I don't do it anymore, you know? I just don't, I haven't done the, the media thing for a long time in terms of mainstream. So I, I just wanted to get your take on that, you know? And, and I'm sure you have some of the same feelings as I. I mean, at least I would imagine. Now, some people would say, um, you know, conservative uh, uh, principles um, is kind of the, the foundation uh, for a prepper because they take their responsibility in their own hands. And like a liberal, which really relies on bigger government to be the savior, not yourself. This is the fallacy that I think we need to really highlight in bold that one type of individual wants to actually be in a situation to care for themselves because they have enough self-respect to do it, while the other side is just living in their own utopian ideology, and they don't have a freaking clue of what they need because they feel like that it's not their responsibility to simply take care of themselves and family. And because of that, that is part of the breakdown of society. When you have people that aren't actively participating in their own, in their own well-being. It's very, it's very crazy if you ask me. You know, something that I don't, I can't completely understand because I don't come from that left-wing type of, uh, of thought. But I can tell you, though, that there are liberal preppers. You know, there are those people that, you know, were upset, very upset when Hillary lost. And thank God she lost. And, you know, you watch TV, if you do a little bit. I don't, I just saw some pictures of them um, on, you know, the web, just passively. Uh, you know, supporters of, you know, Hillary's crying and stuff when they found out that they, she lost. It's just crazy. The thing, though, here is, is that she pushed in an emotional campaign and that's what this whole thing is about you know when we talk about left-wing liberals the socialist creep in the society we have it's not based on facts and issues it's all based on emotion so you don't want to think about the issues 
It's only about how you feel, not about what it actually stands for. And is it good for you or not? Just like, for example, abortion. They, uh, they take things out of context. Instead of saying that that's a child that's in development, they just say it's a tissue and now it's a choice. And so they just change the vocabulary, the, the vernacular, if you will. And this is, the, this is all about how they change the language to make it fit their agenda. So beware of how people manipulate you to change the facts. It doesn't mean that the facts have actually changed. It's just they change how you try to view it and how you speak of it. Just like the threat upon us, if Hillary was to get in, for her to actually get in and nominate Supreme Court justices to reinterpret the Constitution, God knows how that would have ended. We could imagine that it would have been horrific. We wouldn't have the Constitution as we do today, at least enforced in that manner. So we have major problems um, if we continue to, uh, to allow people like Hillary to even get in there as a choice. So in the future, we have to be even more guarded to never even allow this creep to get so far. It is my hope, though, that when we see Trump and his glory go through uh, the next four years, hopefully the next eight, there will be such a, an example uh, made about how things should be done that it may convert some liberals, but I still know that there will be people who will just be in denial about the success of Trump, even when the success is in their face. But we need to guard that success. We need to go back to that free market. We need to go back to the elements that made us free as individuals, you know? And as some people say, those are God-given rights, regardless of how you believe about God. It was always about individual freedoms that made America. That's what made us unique as individuals and citizens of the United States, compared to other nations in the world. So it is, it is very fascinating to see how we were slipping down the slope. And now we put the door stopper in the door, and for the moment, things are starting to stop. But I would like to see a lot of this reversed I'd like to see government just shrink in size. I would like to see government out of our way. I'd like to see people exercising all their rights and not just assume that they're always going to be there. So us conservatives, uh, us people who believe in God, we need to stand up for our beliefs and, and be an example of that they actually work and that they're, they're worth fighting for. Because America... Is always going to have enemies. There's always going to be someone trying to take advantage of free people and a government that is very vulnerable to it. Everyone be safe and be well. I'll catch you later.